This never happened. He did, Miss D. And then he slapped me and called me a bitch. Hey, 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 hey! This guy's gone mad. Hopalang is a 17-year-old boy who is a hockey player from Bloemfontein. And he loses his father early in the story. I just can't navigate the world without him anymore. And everything that I just try to do, it, it, it can't be right. It doesn't feel right. He encounters a few obstacles, but hey, he comes out stronger after that because his grandfather guides him through everything and he, he, he starts to get back to his old self. The last time that we saw Kwakwa in mainstream television was back in the days, you know, with classic productions like Itikolo. And so for us to go there and to depict it the way that we do um, has been a very good feeling for me. And also even um, reminding people of the landscape and some of the beautiful things that um, you find when you go to Kwakwa. Um, essentially, what we've always felt as the residents of the place is that um, we don't really have that kind of a good relationship with it uh, from a tourist point of view, because we go up around the mountains and um, they sort of become things that you see every day and things that you even want to escape from. Um, so when you now see it as an outsider, someone that has moved out of the place, um, you sort of reconnect you know, uh, with some of those landscapes and, and it becomes a very good feeling. Hey, Lang. Hopu Lang. Go in the Yeah, it is, but who are you? How? Get in the song. How song Hopu Lang? Hey, yeah. Hello, I am Nomsa Lamini. I play the character Mosong Walitsiye. She's a beautiful 17-year-old with aspirations of becoming an engineer. So she's a lady who loves her culture and respects heritage and she's very proud about where she comes from. I'm a 17-year-old guy who is madly in love with a girl named Musoma. It so happens that uh, I grew up in Personally, I feel as a Musuto man, I'm proud that I've created a piece of Basuto artwork. Right? Um, whether, whether we now link it to the foundations of heritage, that's, that's open to how you as a viewer interpret our artwork. Um, I'd love for you to develop a keen interest in the Basuta culture and heritage, but that doesn't necessarily mean you watch Mulamu and you now know who and what Basuta are. My name is Lebohang Zani and I play uh, Khoto. Khoto is a good guy together with Khopulang, uh, but Khopulang was in the same way and then they had to uh, I wanna rebuild the friendship again. So Khoto is a good guy and he's a good guy and he's a good guy. I planted a few mics there and there, you know, so I would prepare before the shot was taken. I would prepare certain microphones, you know. We did it, and Matricula had leveliers on um, other actors, so they will serve 
as a backup for me as well. I was using an F8, so it's basically what people use when they go out on film to record, whether it's uh, film, whether it's documentary, whatever have you, you know. So I would have loved to have used, you know, the Sound Devices Mix Pre 6, but hey man, couldn't get a hold of that in time, so we had to make do with what we had. But it was really cool, that, that, that uh, recorder is really good, you know. The scene at the cave, what you don't know is that was like more or less a six kilometer hike for us to get there. And when you're production assistant, you need to make sure that the guys are hiking that mountain, up that mountain on time so that the direct, the DOP doesn't lose light. Um, you need to make sure that they're hydrated. The makeup artist, you gotta find a way to make sure the kit gets up there and that people's makeup is not smudged. When you see it come to life, it's beautiful and yeah. If you really want to be in, t in a television space, you have to prepare yourself mentally to be worked out until you die to self. There's mountains, there's terrains. That's why I said it's never fun. It's fun to be on set, but it's never easy. It's a whole lot of blood, sweat and tears. You need to do your research. You, know? you need to make sure that you know exactly what you are dealing with. It's not really about what you know, it's more what you can share when, when you are with your, your teammates. <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> My name is Nancy Gele Lonzome, playing Elizabeth. She's an entrepreneur who lost her husband morning as well but you know working hard to uh, like block that off raising a young man who now after the death of the father has become very problematic you need someone who can teach you how to be a man what goes on behind a good shot is a good script you know i've, I've always learned that you have to stick to the script because uh, motion picture is that, the, the picture tells the story. They say a picture has a thousand words and I think with motion pictures a million words. Understand the brief first and what is it that you need to say with your shot. So yeah, my shot is really informed by what the script says. So I cut wood and you get to cut sticks. Hey, 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 I'm going to cut wood and I'm going to cut wood. I'm going to cut wood and I'm going to cut wood. My responsibility as a producer does not end when Channel has approved the final product. If anything, that's where the other stress started for us. Um, that was, how do we then promote this movie in a dignified manner? We, we, we needed to ensure that there's a sense of pride from all the civilians in the Free State and as many people as possible within the province know about this movie. So we had to dig in as a team and collectively say, how can we best promote this movie? And I was fortunate that I have a team that is you know, always you know, um, willing to, to, to go the extra mile. That helps a lot. It helped in this case because every member of the team, be it the camera guy, be it the DOP, be it the director, be it the graphic designer, Everyone was digging in to say, how can we market this movie? So my responsibility as a producer did not necessarily end when I've submitted the movie to the channel. I knew I had a responsibility to also promote the movie and make sure that as many people know about this movie as possible. You need to have a desire with you and your team and a determination to say, look, we're not going to stop. This thing is coming home. Love it, man. Like, be passionate about it. Just love it. It's like a dying of sorts for you, so that the story lives. We've won. We've, we've done something for our hood. Thank you. Um, I'd like to literally thank, you know, everyone that was involved in the process, uh, big or small. Uh, there was no big or small involvement. If anything, I am a firm believer that any contribution made the film what it is. So I'd like to thank everyone from the starting process till the end process. From us as Careers TV, we, we, we're quite honored to have been part of the project um, that you enjoyed. Good.